Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some budget-friendly ways to entertain your children this summer. Some new ideas maybe. Obviously, here in England, we are coming into week three of the summer holidays. It may well have been a bit longer where you live, but the ideas may be a little bit thin on the ground now. The budget may be wearing thin, and you may be well be looking for some new and fun things to do as a family to entertain your children this summer. So we're going to be sharing probably around, I want to say, can I do 30? Around 20 to 30 ideas in this video of things to keep your children entertained with on a budget, how not to break the bank. Obviously it goes without saying that just spending time together is so precious. And you know, this whole 18 summers thing that's been going around, it's really precious. My children are getting older and they don't wanna hang out with me as much as I've spoken about on my channel. But you know, it's just about spending time together. Don't worry if you cannot afford to do all of the things that you see other people doing on social media. Just don't forget that what you see on social media isn't always the whole picture, you know? It may well be five minutes of their day of 24 hours. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Get yourself a paper and pen. I'll be sharing more over on my Instagram as well, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis, and probably on TikTok as well, also Lara Joanna Jarvis. So grab yourself a cuppa, get cozy, and let's get into the video. Okay, number one, this is something that I love to do and it's really good for all ages and that is a nature scavenger hunt. So write down a list of 20 things, maybe it might be a fir cone, uh, a leaf with a bit of orange on it, something that you, they have to find and just take them to the park and they can tick it off. And even better, if they can maybe pick up a feather and you can take sellotape with you and stick it onto your scavenger hunt, it really brings it to life and makes it really interactive. And of course it's free and you're getting your steps in as well. Number two is to do a DIY games day. So maybe you have some friends in the area that you might be able to do this with or say to your friends that you can look after their children, do a bit of a childcare swap and just go and do like a sports day. Get some sacks, do sack races, get some egg and spoons, get some little mini hurdles for them to jump over, even just running races, really bring some entertainment to a fun free day out. Something to get you out the door, get off the screens and it actually can be really, really fun, especially if there's a group of you. Number three, it's a beach day. You may well not live near the beach, so it might not be possible. It may well be like a full on, like an overnight stay somewhere, but a beach day is free and it is so fun. My children absolutely love it. Mix it up as well. Go for the sandy beach. You can do the sand castles all day. Go for a stony beach, go looking for fossils, and skimming stones there's loads of choices and you can pack up a picnic and obviously everything else is free for the day and it's a really really fun day out number four is a family bike ride we try and do this with our children now they're a bit now that they are a bit older but it's obviously free and you can pick up a bike on marketplace if you don't own one for 20 pounds 30 pounds lots of always lots of bikes on marketplace uh, for sale but it's a really nice fun thing to do as family go and explore a different area to where you normally go to maybe pack up a picnic and find a nice spot to have a little picnic while you're out and yeah, just have some fun as a family. Number five, I think, is DIY art projects from things that are around your house. Uh, maybe you've got some dry, air dry clay, which is amazing. My children spend hours with air dry clay. I can link the one I use in the description bar. But just making things out of boxes and toilet rolls and uh, straws. There's so many choices and so many fun things you can make and it makes a fun activity out of repurposing your rubbish. Number six is good old-fashioned storytelling. Get some cushions in the lounge, make it all cozy, get some fairy lights, get the favourite books out or even listen to it on a podcast or something like that. Make it a different kind of, if it's older children, maybe they want to listen to it on a storybook or an ebook or something and just make a little fun, little um, cozy den out of it and do a bit of a story time afternoon. Good old-fashioned movie marathon, we love to do this. Again, you can make a little den and make it really fun for them, but just try and strip it back. Just spend the day on the sofa, especially if it's raining, which it has been for ages in the UK, uh, certainly in the south of the UK. Just like make a cozy den and have each choose a movie and get some snacks and just enjoy it a bit of a chill out. The next one is back garden camping. This is such a fun activity. Children absolutely love it. You don't have to go too far. You don't need to worry about toilets or camping stoves or making a fire. Just doing it in the garden. This is a day worth of fun even if you don't sleep out there at the night in the night if they're a bit young, um, younger it's just so cute do a little tea or do a little cocoa or something like that in the evening and yeah it's just a really fun way of spending the time together without spending any money and there's actually a meteor shower this week as well so look out for that too next one are we on eight or nine is science experiments in the house there's loads of these on youtube there's also a dad dad oh what's he called on instagram 
Oh, he's a really nice guy. Basically, loads of experiments that you can do with household things like making volcanoes out of paper mache and uh, baking powder and coke or something like that. There's loads of experiments you can do. And my sons absolutely love making a potion, which is basically concocting all the things that are in the kitchen, like ketchup, uh, vinegar, icing sugar and they make a potion out of it. It's disgusting, they put leaves in it, but it keeps them entertained for ages and it's really, really minimal cost, of course, just whatever you've got in the cupboards. The next one is geocaching. This is something my children absolutely love and there's websites out there, Facebook groups. It's free to do and it gets you out and about walking in the countryside and they actually have special things hidden in like a sign or um, behind a, a post or something that you may not even know is there unless you're doing geocaching and you go out and look for them all. It's just a really, really fun activity to do with kids. Local community events, this is really good. Libraries do the summer reading challenge. Local groups do different uh, area challenges. There's so much on in the summer holidays free entertainment and you can do it as a community as well which is really lovely to get together with your neighbours. If you are enjoying this video guys I'd love to have you here in this community as a subscriber. I share loads of videos on lifestyle, how to live your best life on a budget, ways to save for things, how to save, uh, just generally lots of videos here on improving your financial well-being and I would love to have you here in this community. I'm Lara and I'll leave you the subscribe button here I think it is. I've been doing this 10 years and I still don't know where it is um, and come, alo come, come over and join us on Instagram as well and also our budget friendly Facebook group which is Budget Best Life. There's 20 something thousand of us all sharing ways to live our best life on a budget so I'd love to see you there too. Next one is wildlife spotting so go out and you have to spot certain birds or certain types of animals like squirrels or a snail or a blue tit or something like that. A little bit like a scavenger hunt but for nature only. So this one is if you have maybe a projector if not you can just put the tv on a table outside and it's having an outdoor movie night again like build the den get the s'mores and the uh, popcorn and the fairy lights and just make it really atmospheric and really cozy with the duvets bring all that down take out the sofa cushions anything like that and just watch a movie under the stars strip it back go really really simple pack up your lunch instead of having it in the dining room or in the lounge or wherever you eat your lunch take out just walk for like 10 minutes and say wherever we are in 10 minutes time if we're near a park, aim for the park, and you sit down and you have a picnic. Just really simple thing, mixing up what you're doing day to day but actually doing it differently. If you're working from home, you have an hour's lunch break, instead of just plunking the, the lunch in front of them normally, take it outside and just do something different with it. The next one is doing a treasure hunt. We love doing this at Easter, of course, but even in the week, in the normal year, you can write little clues and have maybe like a sweet or something or a little Lego toy or anything really that you can hide around the garden or in the house. And each clue, each time you find it, you get a clue, a clue to the next one and then you go on and on and on. And then maybe the last final prize is I don't know, like pizza for dinner or um, a bit of Lego that they can build or whatever your child's interests are. A little DIY treasure hunt is really, really fun to do. A water balloon fight. These are so fun. My children absolutely love these. They also have the water pistols and they have the reusable water balloons uh, from Amazon, which I can link for you. And uh, they just love it. We absolutely love having a water fight, but unfortunately, not been warm enough recently but I do think it's warming up again now. The next one is there's always like local rivers where it's safe to go in and paddle and you can take a picnic. We are actually doing this with my friends and it's one of my favourite days out of the year. There's a group of us that go, the children all love each other and they just play in the water and we can be in the water with them, we can watch them from the side, we just have a really good time catching up and the children have really good fun too. Next one is a dance party at home, get everybody to put on five favourite tracks onto a Spotify playlist and onto Amazon Music, whatever your playlist of choice is and you can have a dance party, turn the lights off, get a, maybe a disco ball if you've got one, just something a little bit different, it doesn't have to be something wildly uh, like a long time task, like a little half an hour thing, get the vibes going really positive and everyone jumping around and having a good time. This is a good one, it's a DIY obstacle course where you lay down a little obstacle course course in the garden. My children love doing this but they want me to do it with them and I'm not the most sporty but it's so much fun. You just like run around the garden and you have to jump over things and go underneath sheets and we've got our football goal which we use as a sort of um, part of it as well and yeah there's just loads of different things you can do in the garden for an obstacle course. Next one is a cooking class now this can just literally be as simple as getting them to help you with the dinner or making their own pizzas something like that 
just making meal time an activity gives you an extra an hour of activities to do with your children for something you're going to do anyway if your time is short and you're working from home uh, you, and you just want them to like maybe help you a little bit but actually en enjoy it as an activity make it a bit fun you know do a pizza rather than a normal dinner and they can stretch out their dough and they can put their cheese on and make the sauce up and then they can make funny faces with the toppings as well I've no idea where we are we must be on at least 20 by now the next one is to build a fort children love doing this I hate it because it means I notice how dirty my sofa is in the crumbs that get into all the creases. So take all the cushions off of the sofa and build them. If you've got two sofas, put them next to each other and cushions over the top and a blanket and they can go underneath it. It's just so much fun. It's really obviously a cheap, um, a free activity. Uh, maybe take you an hour to clean up afterwards, but it's a really fun thing for the children to do. Now the next one, it will cost you maybe five pounds to buy them, but outdoor chalks are really, really fun. And it's sort of like a little bit of a, um, not naughty, but you know, something that the children think is a real treat to do because they don't usually get to do it. And obviously with all this rain, it's gonna wash away anyway. But drawing maybe a hopscotch or a rainbow or something like that with massive chalks uh, outside is really fun to do. A games night, it's so simple. We've been playing some of the big potato games recently and they are so fun and really easy to learn. There's one called Don't Say Um, which is really good. Really good for younger children as well. Uh, describing things without saying um. But there's loads of games out there. Just do it as every person in the family mate chooses one board game hopefully not one that takes ages like Monopoly. Um, but yeah, as an actual thing, get it as a real, like a teams or have some friends over and do it with them and just get everybody involved in it. Sensory play is a really fun thing to do for children. So even just rice in an empty bottle or those Orbeez, those water beads or lentils or something, you can make instruments out of them. You can have sand in a, in a dirt tray um, or mud in a dirt tray with like diggers or shaving foam is a really, really good one with a wet uh, uh, blank dirt tray or even just a tray that you, you know, put your dinner on um, and then put the shaving foam on it and play with it. It's just a different thing to do. Sensory play, really great for younger children as well, as well as my children would absolutely love it because it's making a mess and they love to do that. I've lost track. I'm gonna say 23, let me know if it's not. Uh, is planting seeds and growing vegetables from scratch. We've been doing that. If you've been watching my frugal living vlogs, you may well have seen that, that we've been growing our own vegetables again this year. And it's so cool. The children go out there and they see what's new today and what's ready to harvest and if it needs a bit of feed. And you can grow it from scratch as well, from a seed or even from a plant. If you've got maybe herbs or something that you've bought from the shops, you can plant that and then you can see it grow. So it's something really fun and of course, mainly free to do for the children. Just going out and playing football or frisbee or or rounders or cricket or something as a family. If your children are used to going out with their friends, it may well just bring a new dimension if you go along and you can play with them. And of course you can bring in anyone from the neighborhood that is playing in nearby and just offer them to come and join in your game. Just something like that. I know it's an obvious one, but it's something that you may well not do because your children might want to just go out with their friends. But if you can tag along, if they let you, it can be really, really nice. DIY puppets, even just from like a paper bag or uh, a some sort of, if you can knit one together or sew one together with a bit of material and do a little DIY puppet show from behind the sofa and you have the audience, you guys sat down and the children can do it and they can rehearse it. That takes them a little while. <laughs> Get savvy with your time here so you can carry on working if you're at home and or feeding the baby or whatever your attention needs to be on and they can practice their play and then they can perform it for you. If you found these ideas helpful, please give it a thumbs up so it helps other people find it and help them do their summer holidays on a budget. Hopefully you got some ideas. Let me know in the comments your favorite thing to do on a budget in the summer holidays or any time of year with your family or on your own or if it's an adult's fun thing to do, I'd love to know that as well because Stu and I have a date day coming up and of course we're gonna be doing that on a budget. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope the video has been helpful and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye.